Here's our new function, y equals to parentheses 2 minus x times x plus 6 times x plus 1 times x minus 3. And I'm going to use a you know, similar technique here. If I were to multiply this out, what would it, it look like? And here it gets a little tricky because the 2 minus x means that I would have a negative x times x times x times x. So negative x, 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 x would be minus x to the fourth. That means our leading coefficient is negative. And it's a fourth degree polynomial. And again, I'm not interested in knowing everything here. <laughs> All those other terms won't help me. So I just call it minus x to the fourth plus stuff. All right, and, and as we all know, stuff happens. Well, um, this shape, being quartic, is going to be sort of an M shape, like so. And uh, it, it has four roots. The roots are R, X equals to, so if I set this equal to zero, I'm going to get positive two. Set that equal to zero, I get negative six. And then we get negative 1 and positive 3. So four, four roots for a quartic function, fourth degree function. And the y-intercept, y at 0, if I plug 0 in, I'm going to get positive 2 times 6 times 1 times negative 3. That would be minus 36, it looks like. Yeah, negative 36 is the... Um, y-intercept. Okay, so I have all the information I need to, to sketch this. And uh, so just a matter of plugging it in. I like the y-intercept. I expect you to uh, locate the y-intercept. And actually it's, a, it's kind of a checkpoint too. So I'll, I'll talk more about that in a little bit. All right, so the roots are at negative six, negative one, two and three, two and three. And, uh, and also the intercept is at negative 36. So that means we have uh, these points that the graph must go through. And we said it was uh, Kind of this M shape, upside down, quartic shape, M shape. So it comes up through here, comes down. All right, so up, down, up, down, like so. There we go. And that would satisfy all the points. So here's what you want to look look for in these problems. Uh, does it hit all the landmark points you got? Now suppose I screwed up and got a positive y-intercept up here okay by mistake so let me let me just write a mistake here suppose my intercept was 36 that i calculated by mistake all right so how could i come up come down hit that point go up and then come down again you know in order to do that i would have to uh let's see i would have to come up hit this come down Oh boy. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be a fourth degree polynomial, would it? That would be a fifth degree. To, to make it go down the right, I'd have to cross the axis again. But, but look what happened. I, I created an extra root by doing that. So I have seen a lot of students do this on tests and, and on homework, where they uh, get a wrong number somehow, they get a wrong root, or they get a wrong y-intercept. And uh, they try to connect all the dots, and they end up creating more roots in their graph than exist in the problem. And so if you end up crossing the axis again at a point other than your roots, then that's obviously wrong. It's a mistake, okay? Or if you end up with something that's not the shape you're supposed to get, obviously that's a mistake. This shape might be a fifth degree polynomial because it rises at one end and falls at the other. And so the, the one in red, that's the mistake. So be on the lookout for those. I, I'm just always amazed why students can make that mistake and just let it slide. And, um, you know, and I know they're trying their best just to, to fit the information best they can. They just have to move on. But, but uh, it is something to look out for. So it's, 
it's kind of easy to check your work on these and the wider set provides you an extra piece of protection there to help check your work. All right, let's, uh, let's do one more of these. Here we go. Well, sketch y equals to 1 minus x, x plus 1, 3 minus x, x plus 4, 5 minus x. Okay. Um, if I were to multiply this out, do you see what degree it is, incidentally? It's going to be fifth degree, isn't it? Because I have five of these linear terms. And so and if I were to multiply it, I have negative x, positive x, negative, positive, negative. I have three negatives there. It's negative x to the fifth plus all the other extraneous stuff that we could care less about. All right, so there we go. Uh, which means what? It's going to be shaped like this. In other words, the negative leading coefficient means it's pointed down on the right side. The odd degree means it's pointed opposite directions. So it goes up on the left side. And it has five roots. Again, roots are x equals to 1, negative 1, 3, negative 4, and 5. So 1, negative 1, 3, negative 4, 5. And the y-intercept would be 1. Again, you're plugging 0 in for x. So 1 times 1 times 3 times 4 times 5. It's positive. Positive uh, 60. Positive 60. Okay. So let's sketch that out. Now, I want your sketches to be good sized. All right. Make them big. Yeah, at least 4 by 4. But, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't be unhappy at all if you use the entire piece of graph paper. You know, make them big. Just uh, paper is cheap, folks. And, and, and if you get in a, in a habit of doing quality looking work, uh, you know, the quality of your work is going to improve, isn't it? So um, think about that. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to... Make a little room here. So my y-intercept is at 60, so let's just go ahead and put that in. 60 is up there, isn't it? I think it is. All right, so we go out to 5. So 5 is my farthest point on the x-axis. And negative 4, 3, and then 1, and minus 1. Okay. So we've got... These roots, five roots, for a fifth degree polynomial, quintic, and this um, y-intercept. And we said the graph looked like this. I erased it, but looks like this. So I come down. All right, let's see if we can do this. Comes down, goes up, goes through there, comes down, goes up, comes down. There we go. So that's a, a fair sketch, I think. Kind of making it fit there. <laughs> okay. It doesn't necessarily peak out there. In fact, this one does, does not peak out there. I can, I can tell. Well, I think I can tell. I, I could be wrong about that. It, it, it's possible it peaks out at 60, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Uh, very unlikely. But anyway, there's, uh, there's our graph. 50 degree polynomial. It's got uh, four turns. Four extrema. Relative maximums and minimums has three inflection points, five roots. There we go. So now um, in this next topic, we're going to uh, look at ones where the terms, uh, you have some terms that are squared or cubed. So um, we'll, we'll move on from here.